Tom in Illinois writes to me and he says, Paul, Tom, <laughs> thank you for my daily morning coffee videos. You are welcome, sir. You always advocate hooking up subs using speaker level connections to preserve the signal from the amplifier. Mm -hmm. If I'm using a servo or DSP controlled subwoofer, would that not alter what the amp has created? If this is the case, should I be using a passive subwoofer? If not, is there a preference for servo versus DSP? All right, well, let's, um, how do we, where do we start? Let's talk about what a servo subwoofer is, okay? So a servo subwoofer is a woofer cone that has an accelerometer, which is a measuring device, connected to the cone, all right? And as the cone moves back and forth, that accelerometer measures that motion, that movement, that acceleration from zero up real quick and then back again. And through a little bit of trickery, we convert that acceleration signal into a replica of cone movement. So it's a way of measuring the movement of the cone. We take that and we compare the cone movement with the input signal. The two should mirror each other. As the input goes up, the cone should rise up, and as it goes down, they should follow and track each other exactly, right? And to the extent that it does, no problem. To the extent that the signal is going up and the cone is like kind of lagging and then it goes up, then we take the power of the amplifier and we correct and put more energy into it so it's like, hurry up, and we can try and get lower distortion, faster transient response when we use a servo. And a servo, therefore, is just a feedback means to make sure that the cone is doing what it's told. So in that instance, I would say that it's irrelevant whether you use high level or, or low level, uh, irrelevant in the sense that because I believe you should use the high level input, but it's not going to change the sound. It's not going to modify the sound in a way that you don't want. In fact, it'll get you even closer as long as that, that servo is doing what it's supposed to be doing, right? So no, in that case, you definitely want to use the high level input as I recommend. And the servo is gonna just take care of the woofer doing what it is told to do, all right. DSP, digital signal processing, is very different. DSP takes the incoming signal, modifies it in terms of frequency response so that ostensibly it better matches your room. And even in that case, I would recommend using the high level input because the idea of the high level input is to carry forward the audio, the sonic characteristics of your power amplifier to better mate with your main speakers. So regardless of whether you have a standard powered sub, a servo controlled sub, or you're using DSP to have the sub make up for room anomalies, you still want to have it mate as well as you can to the main speaker. Okay? I hope that all makes sense. All right.